Hi friends, it's Miss T and it's time for our daily meeting. So when we start our daily meeting, we always like to do our breathing, our mindful breathing. And remember, mindful just means that you're paying attention to what you're doing. So we're going to pay attention to how we are breathing. So today we are going to do our lion breath. So we're going to take our hands and we're going to put them by our, by our head. And remember, Boy lions have this fur around their head. It is called a mane. So our hands are our mane. And we're going to breathe in, which is what we do when we smell a flower. We're going to breathe in. And then when we blow out, we're going to go. Just like that lion. Okay? So we're going to do it three times. Here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And it's okay to make a little noise like a lion. Here we go. And that was our lion breath. So how are you feeling now, friends? Did that help your body calm down? How were you feeling this morning when you got up? Were you super happy? Were you feeling excited about something? Are you feeling a little bit sad or grumpy? Are you frustrated or did something make you angry today? How are you, how, how are you feeling? We always check in when we first get to school. So have your families let me know how you're feeling. And remember, if you're ever feeling too excited or a little bit sleepy or you're feeling angry, do our breathing exercises. You can do the lion breath, the dolphin breath, handled breath. You can do the pretzel breath. And remember, those breathing exercises, as long as you do it at least three times, will help your body calm down. It will help your body feel better. So let me know how you're feeling today, friends. All right. So we are going to do our positive affirmation. And remember, positive affirmations are things that we tell ourselves to feel good about ourselves because we are all special. And part of being a responsible bee is that you're kind, not only to other people, but you're kind to yourself, okay? So give yourself a big hug and say, I am so special. You are so special, boys and girls. All right, our positive affirmation for today is, does anybody remember what this one is? I bet some of my friends remember. All right, I'm going to read it and then we can read it together. I am smart. Read it again. I am smart. And it's got that light bulb on it. Because your brain is like a light bulb. And it lights up all the time because you are so smart and you're learning things every day. Boys and girls, there's not anything that you can't do if you put your mind to it. If you work hard and you want to do it, there's not anything you cannot do. I am smart. And look at, there's that exclamation mark because we're showing emotion. We want to really feel that emotion when we say, I am smart. Each and every one of you boys and girls is so very smart. Don't ever forget that. All right, now it is time for our finger play. And we started a new one yesterday about penguins. And there's not a lot of movement to this one, but it's still super fun. I'm going to get my penguin. Here he is. Here's my penguin. Repeat after me. I'm a little penguin, black and white, short and wobbly, an adorable sight. I can't fly, but I love to swim, so I'll water, waddle to the water and dive right in. So a penguin can't fly. He's a bird that can't fly, but he swims. And he is an adorable sight. Do you remember what adorable means? Adorable means super, super cute. Do you think penguins are adorable? I do. Oh, and look, I match today. I have black and white on just like my penguin. All right, let's try it one more time. I'm a little penguin. Black and white, short and wobbly, an adorable sight. I can't fly at all, but I love to swim, 
So I waddle to the water and dive right in. So he can't fly, but he can swim. All right, that was our finger play for today. There's my penguin. All right, boys and girls, so our question for today is, we're going to look over my shoulder and see what our question for today is. Do you like, mm, let's use our reading strategy. We're going to use this picture as a clue. Do you like, do you like, Bears. Hmm. That's not a bear, is it? Do you like bunnies? No, bunny starts with a B. That's not a B. That's not a picture of a bunny. What? <gasps> what? <gasps> Lions. You are right. That is a picture of a lion. And we did our lion breath today. Do you like lions? You're using your reading strategy. You use that picture as a clue to help you figure out that word. Do you like lions? So that's our asking sentence for today. So you see that question mark at the end of our asking sentence because we're asking a question. Do you like lions? Yes or no? What do you think my answer is? Let me let me say it all. Yes. I love animals. So I like lions. Do you like lions? Have your families let me know what your answer to the question of the day is. Do you like lions? Yes or no? All right, boys and girls, that's our daily meeting for today. The next time you'll see me will be in just a little bit for our read aloud. So until I see you for our read aloud, we're going to read Please, Mr. Panda again. Until I see you for our read aloud, I'm sending you a big elbow bump. Booyah. And I'll see you soon.